Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. As part of a settlement between the Department of Public Works and Cortec, Cortec has dropped its appeal of the Simon Sanchez High School bid awarding. In turn, DPW has canceled the invitation for bid for Sanchez, and the Guam Department of Education is now free to solicit bids for the renovation and rebuilding of Simon Sanchez. That's according to DPW Acting Director Andy Leon Guerrero. But the settlement reached between DPW and Cortec appears to heavily favor Cortec. You be the judge. In order to get Cortec to drop its appeal of the awarding of the Sanchez bid, DPW let Cortec off the hook on three million bucks of liquidated damages it owes the government of Guam. Because of major project delays on a Route 1, Route 8 construction project, Cortec was cited for three million dollars in damages. DPW had also terminated Cortec from the project, citing major delays. Cortec is a multi-million dollar company to finish 10% of the job. It baffles me. It really does. It's not clear why the settlement combined the Route 1, Route 8 project and the Simon Sanchez procurement with Leon Guerrero agreeing the two were separate issues. I have to agree they were apple and oranges. One shouldn't have hinged on the other, but they, they did. While the Route 1, Route 8 project remains uncompleted, sidewalks not ADA compliant, Cortec was still paid $2.4 million for the work it did do, and now DPW must find another company to finish what Cortec started. I'll take full responsibility if anybody wants to criticize me for the fact that we, Cortec maybe got away with something, for the fact that maybe the government of Guam maybe lost a little bit on liquidated damages. I'll take full responsibility for that, you know. But that's part of negotiating. Sometimes you have to give up something to get something else. Also part of the settlement, DPW must strike from its record all prior notice of default, complaints, objections, or concerns issued by DPW relating to Cortex work on the Route 1, Route 8 project. And the kicker, Cortex is now free to bid on Simon Sanchez again. Striking the notice of termination, which basically means Cortex was fired from the Route 1, Route 8 project, and all documentation that Cortex failed to do the job it was hired to do from the record, means Cortex can now bid on GovGuam projects without any black marks on their resume. There will be nothing on the official record, yeah. Nothing at all. So they kind of did get away with it then? I, I really don't think they got away with it, you know, because they're a really reputable company. Cortex lost the bid to build Simon Sanchez High School and filed multiple protests and appeals with the Office of the Public Auditor. Obviously it's a negotiation, right? Sometimes you, you win on certain parts, sometimes you lose on certain parts. Maybe we didn't get the three million in full, you know, but if we did if we didn't and we continued the process, Cortec would have taken us to court. It would have been a lengthy process. We, I don't know, maybe three, five years. Cortec also sold Tijan High School to Gov Guam for 250 million bucks in a controversial deal that was criticized by former speaker and now public auditor BJ Cruz. Leon Guerrero, meanwhile, said the settlement was brokered to reach a resolution on Simon Sanchez. But he did admit Cortex's deep pockets made it hard for DPW to have equal footing. Their lawyers are like Michael Jordan and, and LeBron James, and our lawyers are like, you know, um, who would it be? Chris, Chris Malafunction and Andy Leon Guerrero, right? And I'm not taking anything away from the AG, I'm not, you know. Uh, their resources are huge, you know what I mean? They have the money to go take us to court. They have the money to make it last as long as they need to. They have the money and the resources for all that. KUAM News asked Leon Guerrero if he thinks Cortec got off easy. You're asking me if DPW lost? No, we didn't. I think we won. I think the government won overall because you cannot put a dollar figure on the education of those school children that are in a dilapidated and unsafe building right now as it stands. So was a couple of million dollars worth it? I think it was. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.